Saturday night, spiritual warfare, trying to save your soul. Amen. And get your demon deliverance, physical, mental, emotional, healing, divine healing, and pray for your blessing for you and your family. Amen. Saturday night, spiritual warfare, intercession. I bind the strong man if you. The strong man, the demonic strong man, you are insane if you're thinking you're going to step away from Jesus, the real and true Jesus, God the Son of God, the second person of the Trinity, God the Son of God, if you're going to step away from Jesus and continue to practice sin. That's why we have deliverance ministry. One third, one third of what we read about Jesus doing in the New Testament, one third of this, boom, uh -uh, uh, all of that is demon deliverance. Teaching about it, doing it, demon demonstrating it, commanding you to do it, demon deliverance. Another third, more or less, more or less, what we read about. What all Jesus did, I don't know, I wasn't there. Another third, more or less, was divine healing. And like two sides of one coin, divine healing and deliverance go together. Do you know about Jesus? Do you even know about Jesus Christ of Nazareth? Anointed with the Holy Ghost in power, you must seek the baptism of the Holy Ghost to function out here, out there, or in here, wherever you are in this world, in a carnal, fallen flesh, body in the fallen world, in the world system, the mind of the world. It is the 22nd of January, 2022. How are you today, by the way? Saved, I hope. I'm Gary, Lamp of Heaven and Hotmail.com. If you want to talk to me about setting up Skype, healing, deliverance, prayer, session, this wicked heart, what is a wicked heart of unbelief? You don't want a depraved mind. You want a sound mind. The only one way to have a, a sound mind is to have a mind that's in faith. Faith in Jesus Christ. Every other voice you hear in your head, and they're demonically inspired if they're not literally a demon using your voice, speaking in your head. Sometimes it doesn't even sound like your voice. You hear a voice causing you to doubt leading you astray, leading you into sin. A wicked heart of unbelief. You, you, you grow a, it's a, a sin grows in your heart. The stony heart. Well, let me tell you, your heart turns to stone. There you go. A stone in the field. And that's your life. Your heart is a stone. It's not open to the Spirit, the Holy Spirit. Oh, you've got plenty of spirits, but they're demonic spirits. That's why you need deliverance. That's why it's Saturday night spiritual warfare, intercession for you. Bind your strong man, all the demons underneath the strong man, the evil, wicked beings, their personality. You bind them in chains, just like some other evil person in the natural fallen world. This is a natural fallen world, and it is about uh, 10 o'clock East Coast. Fallen world time. You've got to know you're in a fallen world. Carnal wants to sin, wants to do its own thing, wants what it wants now. And the mind, who is working with the flesh to get it what it wants, who is demonically inspired, the demons work out their will, their lusts, only through your flesh. They only pervert things by using your power to act in the world. That's how they manipulate other people, not just kill and destroy and steal from you. They use you to go out in the world, like witches, for instance, on Saturday night, using their perverted sex rituals, uh, doing harm to innocents. I won't go any further than that. Uh, animal sacrifice. They want blood sacrifice. They want to pervert the word of God. The blood of Jesus washes us, cleanses us from all unrighteousness. They're trying to create unrighteousness, so they have to use a perverted system. 
of animal sacrifice and blood, human sacrifice and blood. They would love to use a human. That's the most power. There's life in the blood. They're trying to bring up death through the blood of their perverted sex rituals, their animal sacrifice, human sacrifice. Amen. We're in Saturday night. We're doing some uh, a preemptive strike here in the morning. Canceling what Satan would do today, Saturday, to kill, steal, and destroy. You, listener, and the rest, everything you love around you, kill, steal, and destroy. He'll try to get it. We have to come into intercession. You know how loved ones get sick. You have to intercede for it. You have to pray for them. Someone is emotionally distraught. Intercede for them, pray for them. Someone who's uh, been in a traumatic experience, uh, maybe they're in the hospital, intensive care, emergency room, we have to intercede for them. We have to pray for one another. That you come to your right mind. A depraved mind is just a normal mind in the world. That's a depraved mind. It's a wicked heart of unbelief. It creates the heart of stone that doesn't care if you see it. I don't care. Well, if I believe something else and uh, it includes letting me do my own thing, whatever your own thing is, might not be fornication or drug abuse or alcohol abuse or uh, looking at porn or gambling. It might not. Uh, just the wicked heart is pride and following your own way, creating your own religion, believing what you want to believe. I'm sorry, but you don't get to believe what you want to believe. You have to have faith in the redemptive work of Jesus Christ coming in the flesh here on earth. God, the Son of God, coming into the flesh. Suffered, died, buried, and resurrected for you. You must believe and to function, to be able to work, live, be a, a Christian in this world. Amen.